going to be on Facebook? YouTube. Oh. It's the roll-outs. Those are the roll-outs. Those are the roll-outs. Okay. And the two all the way down to the bottom are... are uh, those are also those are also sensors for blower motor and for and for heat. If we got a cracked heat exchanger, that if we were blowing heat down, okay. then they would sense that and shut off also. Okay. So with the key. blower, okay. with the blower not running though, they they would still sense heat anyway, wouldn't they? Yes. Where the blower run? Okay. But then. Okay. So is there a puncture or something? So they could, these could trip as well as the rollouts. The rollouts, the blower has to be working for the rollouts to work. These would, Those will just measure these the heat regardless. would be running, would be working this? if the blower and was not. Ah. As would this one right here. Another one down here. Okay. See, the thing is, if this comes off and on several times, the heat's going to build up in here. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to trip those. Those down there are manual resets. That's why it's such a bitch to get to. Because you got to reach way back there and find them and then push the little button there. <laughs> See, they're like these over here that you have to reach in and reset. Yeah, but the blower motor they're just much less convenient. These already were burning, right? Hmm? The burners would be burning before the blower motor would start, so it would sense the heat coming down at that point? No, they... Yeah, they would if the blower never came on. Because the heat would start to stack up in here. Yeah. But it's going to move it before so it starts stacking. So would the gas come on simultaneously to the blower? Or would the gas come on before the blower? The gas, the gas is going to come on before the blower and turn, and turn the igniter, and turn the, turn the, uh, turn the, it's going to ignite the gas and these are going to start getting hot. As these get hotter, based on time, these two will come, these, the blower will come on. If the blower doesn't come on, then these will stack on down there. And then they will shut those off for safety also. Okay. This one up here will also shut it off for safety. The two rollouts will also set it off for safety. And these are all tied in series. They just kind of thread through one and into another, and out of that, and into another, out of that, and into another, and they just keep on going. And they come up to the gas valve. So in theory, if you have that sensor, you can just find where they begin and end and jump across. The, well, the check. You know. I'm still not sure exactly what you want, but this, this is your combustion air motor. That's the very first thing that's going to start. Combustion air motor. Once that starts, it's going to set up a, a suction in there, which then will suck down this tube and close the pressure switch up here. When that pressure switch closes, it makes across these two lines. It's actually coming this way and then jumping across, and then this one goes on down to the board and says we have mo we have combustion air. The switch is closed. You can go ahead now and turn on the hot surface igniter, which is down below. The hot surface igniter comes on, and when it gets hot enough, it, it again sends a signal down to the board. It says I'm hot. You, I'm hot enough to ignite gas, you can open up the gas valve. When the gas valve opens up, then it allows the gas to come through here, hit that hot surface ignition, and the burners come on. When the burners come on, this little control back here in the back is a flame sensor. You'll probably see it better over the top. That's a flame sensor right there. And when that senses when that senses the flame, it's got five seconds to send a signal back to the board. When it sends a signal back to the board, it says we are burning, we no longer need the igniter on. It shuts the igniter on, and it continues to burn until the temperature is reached, whatever it is on the, on the thermostat. Should the motor not come on, down the blower motor, then we end up going to a limit switch up here. And this is the one that will turn the gas valve off and keep the gas from going in there. We'll just shut it down. That's the probe for it. And that's the probe in here. I don't know, you might be able to see it better from over here, but... So that's the limit switch. Then down below where the arrows are, you have one on this side, one on this side, or two more limits. Should that blower motor not come on, since this is an automatic reset, 
the chamber will begin to heat up excessively and then it'll kick either one of those out, one or the other down here, those two in the bottom, which will then in turn turn the gas valve off again. These so, if these, these, huh? What are those two things? Okay, to... these other two over here <laughs> is in the event that we have a cracked heat exchanger, we got holes in it. When this pressurizes, the pressure will go to the inside of the heat exchanger and blow the flames out this way. And when they blow out this way, they'll hit either one of these, a high and a low uh, rollout switch, and then pop out pop out that little uh, reset button. And then the only way then to get it back is you've got to push that in. When you do that, it's telling you that your problem is down here with rollout, which generally means that you've got a cracked heat exchanger or you had delayed ignition because you didn't have enough air getting to the system, and it went floating out here until it found some air, then went boom! And that immediately sets that extreme heat and shut that down. And singes off your eyebrows and burns your hair. <laughs> Burns everything. <laughs> Burns everything from here up. <laughs> Delayed ignition. Terrible. But I got to experience it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so did you. Take my word for it. <laughs> Three times in a row, and it was as painful each time. And so I know that the pain is intense. Yeah, and that's it. And each one is basically the same. Some of them are just a touch different, but most of the time, so the they are the same. Up after we get <laughs> That's where that big goes. So you guys want to see one around in the back? You want to see one around in the back? It's a son of a bitch to get to. There it is. Right down there, dead center. And this is the oh, back wow. of the machine. How are you going to change it? Oh, that's